This girl was at prom. Suddenly, a bucket of pig's blood falls and splashes all over the girl. A video of the girl making a fool of herself is shown on a big screen. The people below jeered, but they didn't know never to mess with a woman, especially a woman with magical powers. The girl's name was Carrie. When she was born, her mother tried to end her life with scissors, but her motherly nature kept her from doing so. She decided to raise the baby alone, even though she was the daughter of Satan. Soon Carrie was old enough to graduate from high school because of her neurotic mother. Carrie was timid and withdrawn and was often bullied and teased at school. One day, she was taking a shower in the school bathhouse. Suddenly, the soap fell to the floor. She found herself bleeding, lacking in physical knowledge. She panics and thinks she's dying. Helplessly, she asks her classmates for help, but they find it very funny. At her age, she doesn't even know she's menstruating. The girls tease Carrie, picking up tampons and throwing them at her. One girl even turned on her phone and recorded a video. Only Susan was a little upset, but she didn't stop the bullying. Carrie cries out and crumples to the ground in despair. As she collapsed, the tampons on the floor began to vibrate. The lights began to flicker. Luckily, the teacher arrived just in time. She held Carrie in her arms and whispered comforting words. Afterwards, the teacher helped Carrie learn about physiology when she heard that she had to call her parents. Carrie was very resistant. As she became more emotional, the water cooler suddenly exploded. Her powers were awakened. That night her mother picked her up and took her home. Carrie was sitting in the car when a child came out of nowhere and called her a lunatic. Carrie gets angry. Carrie is frowning. She begins to realize that something seems different about her. When she gets home, instead of comforting her, her mother scolds her for taking a bath in a public bathhouse. Mom puts her in a dark room. Carrie was so upset, she rapped on the door when a crack opened in the door. The next day, Carrie arrived at school to find everyone laughing behind her back. It turns out that the girl who took the video yesterday had posted it on the internet. Now she was the laughing stock of the school. Carrie lowered her head and went into the bathroom in silence. She stared angrily into the mirror, wondering why she was being treated like this. Suddenly, Carrie realized something. She focused on the mirror shard. Sure enough, the shard was floating in the air. Carrie finally smiled because she now had the power to fight back. That night, Carrie experimented at home. She raised her hand and all the books floated in the air. She waved her hand again and even the bed floated up. Carrie laughed with joy as her magic finally awakened and she was about to get her revenge. It's a good thing Carrie still has goodwill on her side. In class, the teacher deliberately makes a fool of Carrie by naming her. As a result, Carrie is again ridiculed by her classmates, accompanied by the teacher's taunts. But this time Hans, her classmate, helps her out. Hans' girlfriend Susan was also ashamed because she had not stopped the violence that day. To make up for a mistake, she asks her boyfriend Hans to ask Carrie to the prom. At first, Carrie is afraid that it will be another trap. She was afraid of being violent again. Luckily, the boy's sincerity impressed her. Carrie is delighted and she agrees to the prom. Unfortunately, her mother is very resistant and forbids her to go to the prom. Looking at her mother, who is getting madder and madder, Carrie explodes. She was so frightened that she got down on her knees and prayed. Carrie looks on and gets even more angry. Mom screams and calls Carrie a witch and a demon, but Carrie had to go to the ball. She happily makes herself a dress and is filled with anticipation. But little did she know that Lily, the girl who posted the video, had been suspended from school because of it. She was also disqualified from going to the prom. Lily's heart was full of resentment. She had gathered a group of people to make a full of Carrie again at the prom. They slipped into the pig pen and collected a tub full of pig's blood. A crazy plan was in the making. On the day of the ball, Carrie changed into a beautiful dress and wore a little flower. She walks in with Hans. They danced to a romantic tune. It was the first time Carrie had ever danced. Everything was just like a fairy tale. She had never smiled so much. The dance was over. It was time to vote for the king and queen of the dance. Lily made Carrie and Hans the winner. They took to the stage and everyone was cheering and clapping for them. It was the brightest moment of Carrie's life. But in the darkness, Lily makes her move. A bad luck was about to strike. A bucket of pig's blood was spilled on Carrie's body. And the video of her scandal is playing on the screen. It's all Lily's plot. She wanted to make Carrie's fall from grace into hell a painful one. She succeeds and the audience laughs as Carrie is treated like a joke. Just then, the barrel overhead fell loose. Hans was killed on the spot with the only person who cared about her dead. Carrie is in despair. She is furious. Her mother's indifference. Her teacher's ridicule. Her classmates bullying. Finally, her magic awakens. In an instant, the exquisite ball becomes an inferno. Everyone was running away. But Carrie locked the doors with a wave of her hand. 
One by one, she takes revenge for what they've done to her. Crushed, Carrie began to slaughter. In the end, Carrie set fire to the entire party. Lily and her boyfriend escaped in the chaos. But Carrie wouldn't let them go. She stomped her foot and a crack opened up in the ground. Lily went crazy. She screams at her boyfriend and tries to get him to run Carrie over with his car. The man stepped on the gas, but he died instantly. Lily panics. She continues to step on the accelerator, but Carrie waved her hand and the car crashed into a petrol station. Now it's all over. Carrie had got a revenge and she went back to her mother in a panic. Her mother took her in her arms and calmed her down. Suddenly, it turns out that Carrie was born when her mother was abused. She blamed Carrie for all her sins. Now it was time to end the sin. She lunged at her daughter with a knife. Carrie's magic explodes again to save herself. With her mother dead, Carrie is devastated and desperate. That's when Susan appeared. She said to Carrie, let me help you. But Carrie replied that she had been hurt all her life and she didn't want to leave anymore. The magic exploded and the house began to crumble. Susan jumped on Carrie to save her, but Carrie sensed that she was pregnant, so she used her last bit of strength to send Susan out. Carrie chose to die with her mother in the rubble. Finally, Susan arrives at the cemetery. Carrie's tombstone was carved with vile words. She had finally become the witch they called her, and it was because of their malice that Carrie became a witch. Those experiences were just a fleeing memory in the minds of her classmates. But for Carrie, but for Carrie, it was a painful ordeal she had to endure at a very young age.